Hey everyone, Jeff Lee here taking a look today at the brand new Red Epic W. Now from exterior appearances, this looks a lot like some of the other DSMC2 products. So of course it looks like the Raven or the Scarlet W or the Weapon. Where it does differ of course is that this is using new sensor technology that Red calls Helium. Now Helium is an 8K based sensor, uh, Super 35 in size. Being 8K resolution is 8192 by 42, uh, 4320, excuse me. Uh, now you may ask yourself, wait a minute, didn't Red already announce an 8K upgrade uh, about two years ago at, at NAB? And that is absolutely true. What they did back then was they announced the upgrade path for those that own carbon fiber weapon bodies. You could take the Dragon sensor, upgrade at a later date when it became available, to a new 8K Dragon VistaVision sized sensor. This of course being Super 35 is new, completely new technology uh, they've put into the Epic W. Epic W is only available in Helium, where of course some of the other bodies you have options to, uh, for example the weapon, you have actually options to stay with the Dragon based technology up to 8K or use the traditional 6K, or upgrade later or convert later I should say to an helium based sensor. Uh, so they've actually announced several upgrade paths which is pretty interesting for those owners of various technologies and actually the upgrade path rolls all the way back to those with red uh, one Mysterium censored uh, camera bodies, Mysterium as well as Mysterium X. So it's kind of an innovative thing what they're doing. Uh, again, high resolution, same resolution as the VistaVision based, but if you want to stick with the Super 35 frame format uh, for lensing reasons or field of view reasons or just any other reason that you may want, uh, this is kind of a nice way of doing so. Um, it is using a lot of the same accessories. Of course, I have on here the seven inch DSMC2 screen, which is toolless. It just screws in using the two thumb screws. You obviously can always use the uh, brand new 4.7 inch screen as well as the uh, existing screen. So for example, this is the DSMC1 7 inch touch screen, which you can use using several adapters. Several exist on the market, including those from RED. Um, or for example, today here, I have one from Wooden Camera, which is a top cage that sort of has a pigtail you can see that takes that signal from the side port as well as that top port uh, with the POGO connectors and converts it to standard LIMO connectors for use with your original DSMC1 screens. So options all around, you're not certainly uh, forced to purchase any uh, new accessories if you don't want to. Uh, now on the back of it, just like all the other DSMC2 products, you have the option for modular uh, power or video output or other input devices. So this one here is just a standard base expander. There's also a version of this with the uh, V-Lock battery. And again, because they've unlocked that protocol for other third-party manufacturers, you can get third-party pieces like the ones from Off Hollywood. They have a, have a bunch of uh, OMODs, they call them with various connectors, including XLR audio, time code, power in and out, a lot of wireless capabilities built in, including wireless time code, uh, wireless you know, control for your camera via the Wi-Fi. Now speaking of Wi-Fi, this of course does have built-in Wi-Fi, uh, so you can use apps like Full Control uh, natively without having to use the red link that you used to use with the DSMC-1 products. So of course the accessories and the exterior body are all very similar to the existing DSMC2, but where we're really interested in of course is the new AK Helium sensor. So initial tests so far uh, with all the footage that we've seen is really promising. And of course the idea of shooting AK, even if you don't plan on delivering AK in the near future, and many of us probably aren't, but the fact that you can shoot 8K for 4K is a really valid and really interesting concept as well. Obviously delivering for 4K is a really is a real thing now, certainly with all the video on demand services sort of mandating that, but with 8K for 4K, you have the option certainly to reframe. You can stabilize or add movement back in, depending on what you're looking for in terms of mood. Uh, you know, the whole idea of oversampling is always interesting too, so you get a nice clean uh, image as well. And again, all the low light stuff has been really, very, very, very good. Uh, and we're really, really stoked to see more footage out of this. Now this is interesting, of course, because at 8K, you are able to shoot up to 30 frames on the Epic W in Red Code RAW, which is pretty amazing. Uh, same goes to 7K, it's up to 30 frames as well. At 6K, you have an amazing 75 frames in Red Code RAW. Uh, there was also an announcement that coincided with this camera, which was the Weapon Helium 8K, right? So, which is different, again, than that Dragon-based sensor, which is 8K VistaVision, again, a physical larger sensor near full frame. The Helium sensor is the same technology within, you know, in terms of the sensor base. Of course, the Weapon having... Uh, a little bit more beefed up internals is able to perform at 60 frames at 8K or 7K. Whereas again, the Epic W, you're looking at 30 frames um, in 8 or 7K. But again, at 6K, you're still looking at 75 frames. Now ProRes, of course, is available in both bodies, the Epic W as well as the uh, weapon. Uh, in ProRes, you're looking at 4K, uh, ProRes 422HQ, up to 30 frames. Or if you want, you can shoot ProRes Quad 4 or Quad 4XQ, 
uh, up to 120 frames, and that's in progress. Of course, uh, Avid DNX HD and HX is also supported as well. So, very interesting concept. Uh, you know, we love the fact that they took what was already working for them, this sort of modular design, of course, with all the DSMC2 things we've mentioned before, able to build upon that quite a bit. But now looking at this future forward sensor technology, which again, you may think, oh, I don't need AK, and uh, you know, deliver an AK, you have any clients that want AK, but again, the fact that we have the option to shoot that in this Super 35 format is, is quite uh, ideal, really. And again, lensing all works, right? Same interchangeable mounts up front, but because it's Super 35, most of our, I'll say, legacy cinema optics, if you use PL glass, uh, will certainly work and certainly cover. Of course, if you have full frame glass like this Canon CNE lens I have here, uh, you know, that's not going to be a problem no matter what. So, uh, again, we're looking forward to playing more with this. These are just rolling out now. Red has uh, been able to produce these in, you know, very rapid succession. So there's a good amount of quantity of these. So certainly if you are interested in one of these, the wait is not going to be all that long. Uh, to maybe non-existent at all, because then Red is able to really ramp up production. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing more of these 8K R3Ds from this new Helium sensor. And of course, if you always want to check out more, be sure to come to one of our education sessions. We do these in all three of our locations. That's it for now. We'll stay tuned for more.